Hey, it's John Nemo. Want to show you a cool feature on LinkedIn. Make sure you're taking advantage of this. What you'll notice in the LinkedIn news feed, depending on who the person is, you're going to sometimes see now under their name and photo this where it says like request services. Uh, and this is actually a clickable link. So what's cool about this is you now can put this link under your name and it will actually, in this case, take you to this person's service page. If I go down, I'll see if anybody else has one of these activated. Uh, here's another example, uh, book an appointment, right? So you can see uh, probably that's going to take me straight to a calendar. Let's check it out. So that's a consultant. Yeah, it takes it to their website. You can sign up for a free call. So if you want to get this added, which is a nice feature, right? Um, I'll show you a simple way to do that. You just go to your own profile page. And here are the steps that you're going to take to get this enabled. So first things first, you're going to click the little edit pencil. Uh, up in your profile area and then you're going to go down to where it says custom button okay so again you probably have to have a premium level or a paid like sales navigator level account to get this if you only have a free linkedin account it may not show up but what you're going to do is you're going to go down to where it says custom button and then click edit custom button and then there's a couple different options so one is obviously you have nothing displayed one is you can do like a custom link so you can you know say visit my website or whatever however i will say you don't want to use this one and the reason is it will not follow you all over linkedin if you do the link version and just put in a custom link which i've done in the past it will not show up and follow you around on linkedin so it won't show up in the news feed it won't show up in other places um so let me just you know get back to that spot like it won't show up under your name like i was the examples i was showing you earlier and of course now i can't find one. Oh, good rich brooks great dude by the way so he's got one to visit under my website uh visit my website basically if you do the link it won't work so you have to choose premium custom button and then it has a drop down menu of choices so visit my store visit my website view my portfolio view my blog book an appointment subscribe to my newsletter or request services so you can pick any of these depending on what your call to action is or what you want people to do, it's obviously a lot of different options. If you're very product-based, visit the store. If you want them just to kind of learn more about you, visit the website. If you have a work samples portfolio, right, all that stuff. Book an appointment is a popular one because you can lead straight to your calendar if you want people to be able to book time with you easily. Uh, subscribe to the newsletter. I assume that leads to your LinkedIn newsletter if you publish one of those. And then request services, if you're not familiar with that one, you can actually have a service page. So let me just show you that really quick here. Just close this. Um, you can see under my profile where it'll say providing services. That's an option, I think, for premium members where you can actually have a service page. And people can come in and they can request work from you. So then you can see here requests and then people can request work. Uh, hey, I'd like to use your service, et cetera. I don't see traffic from this. Um, it's not what moves the needle, but it's just something you can set up. So again, you can choose to use that as like your call to action button as well. What I like to use is either visit your website or book a call basically. Um, ideally, you know, you want people to get more information about you, qualify themselves before they book a call. Now the other place, in addition to showing up anywhere you go on LinkedIn, this button will also show up on your LinkedIn profile right here. So this is that premium button. Visit my website, book a call, whatever. So it's very visible there. And then anywhere you go on LinkedIn as well, it's going to follow you around. Um, and I believe it actually says, let me go back to the editing spot. It'll actually tell you where it posts. Uh, when I click edit, it'll, it'll display on posts, messages, and in search results. So whenever you send a message on LinkedIn, wherever you post in the newsfeed, whoops, I want to turn my button on, obviously. <laughs> and then whenever you uh, show up in search results, it will be there for you. So again, super simple, super easy to do, definitely worth adding. Um, and then you can kind of obviously track results too. If you want to be real specific, you can put book a call with me and have a unique calendar link to see how many calls come from LinkedIn from posting in the newsfeed. I know one thought people have as well, how likely are people to click these calls to action if they just randomly see you in the newsfeed? And again, I agree with that. So that's why I like to use mine as visit my website. So if one of my posts is like, oh, that's interesting, who is this guy? I would rather they go visit my website and learn more about me as opposed to trying to book them straight into a call because 
they may not know, like, or trust me yet. They may not, you know, be a good lead for me, et cetera. Again, it just depends on you. If you have a system where you just want to book calls and get people on the phone, that's totally fine to book a call that way. So there you have it. Make sure you take advantage of this feature and we'll see you soon in a new video.